Welcome to another Soy Checkoff Check-In. I am AgriTalk host Chip Flory. Glad that you are with us. This week, we are talking with Catherine Drake Stowe. She serves as the director of the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative, a multi-state soybean program dedicated to more effective coordination and collaboration among all the sectors in the soybean industry. Catherine, welcome to the Soy Checkoff Check-In. Thanks, Chip. Excited to be here today. You bet. Tell me about where you grew up and, and your farm background. Yeah, so I grew up in eastern North Carolina on a small family farm, actually a tobacco farm. My parents still grow tobacco, cotton, beans. We live about an hour from there and get back to the farm as often as we can. Excellent. You've got some uh, experience with the Soybean Producers Association there in North Carolina, right? I did. I started out once I graduated with the North Carolina Soybean Producers Association, and then about two years ago, transitioned to this new role, um, getting to work across all soybean associations. Okay, so tell me about this partnership and, and how it all began with the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative. Yeah, so the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative, or USERC as we call it, you know, we love a good yeah. acronym in the soybean yep. checkoff space. It's a checkoff sponsored partnership with the purpose of really bringing more collaboration and coordination to soybean checkoff research. So USERC was formed in 2022, and it was really a grassroots effort by a number of state checkoff organizations to say, look, we know we have our own boards, we know we have our own budgets, we have our own research priorities, but there are many cases where those priorities and goals overlap. And where they do, we should be working together more effectively, not replacing any of the fantastic work that these groups are currently doing, but leveraging the current projects for broader impact and yeah. to reduce duplication. Fantastic. We are talking with Catherine Drake Stowe, Director of the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative, on this edition of the Soy Checkoff Check-In. Catherine, talk to me about the priorities there. What are the top three things that must be done to move soybean research forward? Yeah, so as we think about moving soybean research forward, I think we have to think about this changing landscape that we're in. So we know that soybean production is changing. We know that farming is changing. We know the needs of our end users are changing. We've got to be focusing on these major soybean production challenges, which include things like using data, sustainability, weed management, nutrient efficiency, and more. So that's on the production research front. Another angle of this is improved communication across the value chain. And so really thinking about how we bridge this gap between supply and demand, oftentimes our researchers are really in that box, whether that box is a field or the lab that they're working on, and don't necessarily think about how their research will impact other segments of the value chain. And so we have to help our folks that are on the production side of this equation mm -hmm. really understand what the needs are in the marketplace, how mm -hmm. to solve for those needs, and how their work as researchers impacts a grower's access to the marketplace. And then the third piece of this is this collaboration front. Today's questions are bigger. They require different teams of experts. Now, instead of like just weeds scientists and agronomists, we've got to bring in computer scientists and engineers and even mm -hmm. sociologists and psychologists to be able to get these projects done. And so an improved sense of which organizations are funding what projects, what expertise, what researchers have in which states will really help us to better identify opportunities to leverage mm -hmm. and extend the impact of our resources. Catherine, real quick, tell me about some of the research projects that are happening right now. Yes, there are so many exciting things happening in this space. I can't name them all, but I will name off, you know, just a few that get me personally excited. So USB is funding a multi-state research project to really help us understand how cover crops suppress weeds. This includes using cameras on the spray rooms to help us measure that biomass. I was partnering with an ag tech company where they have an early planted soybean trials that were planted with an autonomous fleet. Indiana has a project where they're exploring an autonomous sea and spray rig. Uh, recently, researchers in Missouri developed a new source of soybean cyst nematode resistance that has the yeah. chance to really be game-changing in terms of providing resistant sources to growers. Awesome. And of a last example is USB is funding a project across over 15 states to look at nitrogen and carbon cycling within various production practices and to help us understand how we can increase our carbon intensity scores. And that's incredibly exciting. Oh, man, this is all very exciting There's an, and, and very important work that's being done. No question about that. Hey, Catherine, where can listeners go to learn more about what is happening at the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative? Yeah, so you can learn more at Soybean Research Collab, C-O-L-L-A-B dot com. Excellent. Catherine, thank you for checking in with us on the Soy Checkoff Check-In. Absolutely. It was fun talking to you. 
Fantastic. That is Catherine Drake Stowe, the director of the U.S. Soybean Research Collaborative. Thank you for joining us. This has been the Soy Checkoff Check-In.